for me, it's, you know, it's all, always for, for everybody, I think. It's very sensitive. I'm the father, I'm the president, I'm, I'm a human. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's so difficult. It's so difficult to lose people. It's so difficult and, and to, to lose children. And of course, you, you know, you see these, these people, you see parents, and then when, when their children are dying or, or dead, so it's, you, you want to kill Putin at this moment. And of course, all of them, all of us, we want, all of us, we want it very much. Really, because he's, he's not, I, I think that he's not, he's, at this moment, maybe he's drinking something. Donations poured in on Tuesday to help rebuild the main children's hospital in Kyiv, as Ukraine observed a national day of mourning for the more than 40 people killed a day earlier in a major Russian missile assault which struck cities across the country. The Omatit Children's Hospital, one of the largest in Europe, was devastated during the attack. The UN rights head of mission, Danielle Bell, had a team on the ground. My team spent most of yesterday at the incident site, speaking with medical staff, parents of children, and residents that live in the area surrounding the hospital. Analysis of the video footage and assessment made at the incident site indicates a high likelihood that the children's hospital suffered a direct hit rather than receiving damages due to an intercepted weapon system. The Ukrainian security service also said the hospital was directly hit, releasing photos on Tuesday of what it said were fragments of the Russian missile that struck it. <laughs> Moscow denies this, saying the hospital was struck by Ukrainian anti-missile fire without providing evidence. Rescue efforts at the hospital ended early on Tuesday with two dead and dozens wounded. Flags flew at half-mast in Kyiv as the search concluded. And elsewhere in the capital, dash cam footage appears to show the moment a maternity clinic was hit during an attack on Monday, where at least seven people were found dead. Rescuers also dug through the rubble of a partially destroyed residential building hit by another missile. President Vladimir Zelensky said on messaging app Telegram that more than 100 buildings were damaged in the attack and 400 people were involved in the rescue effort. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov repeated Moscow's insistence that it does not attack civilian targets in Ukraine. Bell said that the attack shows nowhere, including a children's hospital, is safe in Ukraine. 670 child patients, mainly inpatients, were there, together with more than a thousand medical staff. At least two children were killed, including a female doctor, and at least 50 were injured, including seven children. Staff had moved the children to a bunker yesterday morning when the air raid sirens first went off. Otherwise, the casualties would have been much higher. Big Ukrainian businesses rushed to announce donations for the hospital. And while there was no available figure, as of Tuesday, Reuters calculations put the amount raised from Ukraine's corporations at about $7.3 million.
¡Deja! 